Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Rank Roulette series. It is Tuesday and we kicked off in our last episode yesterday with this team that is on the screen in front of you right now. As always, there is a team paste down in the description. There is a roll paste and a poker paste of the team. You can check it out, try it out if you'd like to. And um, if you do try it out, as always, do let me know how you get on with it. But... As I say, we kicked off with it yesterday. We didn't have the best of starts to the week. So I'm really hoping in today's episode we can we can turn over a new leaf, try again, reset, and see what we can do with the team. Just to recap it though, we got the Wigglytuff, the Dawnwings, Necrozma, Lugia, the Volcarona, Lorantis, and Hitmon Top. And um, that was what the roulette wheel kindly threw out for us this week. Remember, tomorrow we can activate some bonus buttons, depending on how today goes. We'll see, but it might be likely that we're going to activate maybe a couple, at least tomorrow, of some of those bonus buttons. Let's um, hop over into our main screen. Let's see what the the damage is. Uh, we're sitting on a 1451 rating. <laughs> we're doing well. We're doing well. We're doing, we're doing all the right things. We're going to get up to 1500 by the end of the week. I promise you that. Is that something that I just say every week and I just it just never happens? I don't think it's ever happened. We're only in this position because we've been streaming and <laughs> we've been playing good teams on stream and it's managed to kind of get us to the, those points. It's weird playing a stream with a, a properly built team and winning. Winning. But it does make winning in this series that much more worthwhile. It feels so much better because you've really worked for it and really struggled for it so with a bunch of mad pokemon but i'm not going to complain too much even though i feel like i probably am so i will apologize for that we've got our first opponent in the episode so we'll hop straight over into team preview okay we got incineroar requires another requires come on come on give us something different tapu coco crobat uh kyoga and excadrill well, well, well. Um, okay, we've got the, the crowbar for the speed control. Works super well next to that Rayquaza. It's going to be Mega Rayquaza. Uh, the Excadrill. Hmm. Has it got Mold Breaker to get around things that are floaty, like stuff that could pr maybe give this team a bit of problem, like Bronzong, stuff like that. Uh, I hit top regardless. is going to be really strong here. I don't know if we want to go down a Trick Room route, although a Trick Room could be very good for us. The Incineroar does cause us a few problems, and... Um, is Lugia going to be the way to go here? The Tapu Koko could be awkward. Uh, I'm actually going to go for the Necrozma. I'm going to go Trick Room route here. I think Lorantis is really good. And do we go Wigglytuff? Do we give it another chance? Um, it's not got the best of. It's not going to have the best of time against the Excadrill, but we've got enough Pokemon to kind of get around these others. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to do it. We're going to start off today like we did yesterday with the same four, with the same kind of basic premise. We did well in that match. I think there was the, the nuzzle that kind of screwed us over a little bit late game. Um, other than that, like if we got around that, we possibly would have been able to claw out a victory there. But let's try again. These four did all right. So we're going to see Crobat and we're going to see uh, Rayquaza. Uh, the Crobat's got to taunt us, hasn't it? Has to, has to taunt us. Uh, we can fake out the Rayquaza. We get a nice intimidate onto it. Um, now, do we Z move the Rayquaza in and fake out, or do we Z move it next turn? I think we probably Z move it next turn. We'll fake it out. We'll go for the Photon Geyser into the Crobat. Uh, because I I totally expect a taunt to come out here to shut down a, a potential Trick Room. The one thing I would kick myself about a little bit is if the Ray uh, doesn't protect here and we could have doubled into it and it's kind of like one of those situations where you think, ah, we could have got rid of only one of the more nuisance restricted Pokemon on my opponent's side and that is exactly what's happening. Super fan coming out. Uh, maybe predicting that we were going to turn into Ultra Necrozma but not the case. If this takes you down Okay, this is where Faint, again, would be so, so useful. Um, <clears throat> let's go for the Trick Room. Let's try the Trick Room. Um, do we bring in Wigglytuff? I think it's probably not a bad idea. Uh, and we'll try and Trick Room. Yeah. <clears throat> and we preserve the, the top for later. We've got the, the Intimidate support in case the Excadrill's a problem. In case Kyogre comes in, we've got the wide card there. So... Uh, 
Perfect, Tailwind, not suspecting in the slightest the Trick Room here from our Dawn Wings. And of course, we're going to see Dragon Ascent. Is it into, yeah, it's into our Dawn Wings, but uh, Intimidated will be able to take this, even if it's banded, which it's not. I wouldn't have thought so anyway, but we do get the Trick Room up, which is perfecto. Excellent. And on a turn where a Tailwind goes up, what more could you ask for? Uh, we can Dazzle. Dazzle, Razzle, Dazzle, and we'll go Moon Guys Beam into the Rayquaza. We'll sit on a Z move just for the moment because uh, we'll just we'll just wait for whatever comes in later and see if we can we can knock something out later. We're going to see an Extreme Speed. Okay, it's into Wigglytuff. Takes it like a champ. Going to be able to get this Dazzle off, knock out this Crawbat, do some nice damage to the Rayquaza, and hopefully put it in range for a Moon Guys Beam to pick up the knockout there. So we do deal with these two threats pretty easily uh, whatever comes in next as well you know they're still in a tailwind we, we're in a trick room whatever it is what, however slow it is it's going to be um, slower than us so we're going to be able to get the Z move off and hopefully set up kind of like that nice end game that we're wanting to see and pick up a nice win to kick us off today should be fantastic really um, I wonder what it is it's definitely going to be Kyogre and maybe Incineroar maybe Maybe Tapu Koko would make sense, but we are going to see the Incineroar. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> I think what I'll do is... Wow, we did get the competitive boost. Kind of tempted just to stay in. Well, go for the Z-move into the Kyogre for sure. And we'll try and... Should we Focus Blast the Incineroar? Yeah, we'll give, we'll give Wigglytuff its moment in the sun or, or the rain. We've got now. Where's Groudon when you need it? Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's let's focus. Plus, we're gonna get we're gonna get faked out for sure. Uh. Mozzie move. Kyogre might protect, but I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm hoping it feels like it's gonna be fine. Oh, what have I done? I give it focus. Not, uh, not focus blast. It's got focus. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, regardless of what Wigglytuff is doing, uh, we've totally botched up the move set there, you know, as well as the Lorantis. So this should do a nice chunk to Kyogre. Definitely weaken that water spout at least. It's gone for the Origin Pulse. Let's see how well we take this. Okay, both, both survive. We're not going to go for a Focus Blast again. We're going to go for a Thunderbolt into the Kyogre. And uh, we'll switch into... Uh, we'll switch into him on top. Thunderbolt from Wigglytuff. Come on, Wigglytuff. You want to get a knockout. You can do it. You can do it, my little friend. Right, maybe the Kyogre protects here, but I don't know. Maybe not. But if it does and the Wigglytuff gets taken down, it means yeah, we get we get we'll get a free switch into the Laurentis, so I mean it's we're still gonna be in a a, a fine position going into the next turn. Darkest Lariat. Oh, it's gonna be into hit on top, I think. Yeah. Okay. So the eject button activating, but that's alright, because it does give us the opportunity to just get Lorantis onto the field. Um, and we can just superpower. Superpower the Incineroar, and we can go for the Thunderbolt into Kyogre. Superpower and Thunderbolt. And then we should be picking up a win for, for our first match today, which is amazing, which will bring us to a record of... One win and two losses. I need to just keep uh, keep a tally of how we do through the week, just to keep keep things. It would be great if we could finish today and like level level playing field. That would be amazing. So there's the superpower. I get the boost. Here's the thunderball. After the competitive boost, we should be yet yeah, picking up the uh, the knockout there against Kyogre, and um, this is going to be a nice little win for us here today. Incineroar obviously going for that Z move after it does a weird snarl thing. 
uh, mid animation. I don't know what's going on with the animations in this this game. It's weird. Like all the Pokemon are kind of doing animations in between turns, which I've never really seen before. So uh, here's the malicious Musant from the Incineroar. Into Lorantis, not going to do too much though. Um, and Dimension Sim back to normal. Should we go for the Focus Blast just for the fun of it? I think we should. Let's try. Focus Punch, because it's meant to be Focus Blast. Uh, we'll go for another Superpower. I don't know if we're going to be able to take uh, Flare Blitz. We're, we're plus one defense and then minus one attack, so maybe. Flare Blitz? I'd be surprised if we do. Here we go. Nah, we can't take it. But this will probably proc a berry. Oh no, it's Z move. There's no berry. Focus punch. <laughs> Wiggly tough. You are the man. You do. You've, <laughs> you've shown how strong you are with focus punch. Yeah, you don't need that focus blast. You want the the focus punch is the one. Here we go. Anyway, so we will change that. That is a definite definite. Uh, error on my on my end so apologies about that but it worked out in the end so I mean what we got to complain about nothing and it was a lot more it was a lot more memey than uh, than the alternative so we're off to a victory today in our first one which is always good like I say victories are few and far between in this series and when you get them the feeling is amazing it really does it feels so good to get a victory so we'll um We'll move on to our next opponent. Like I always say, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Let's pick some music. Uh, should we go with Gladian? Yeah, let's go Gladian here. Um, yeah, but the, the a victory in this series feels like ten victories in a row <laughs> in our normal series. We got Jackson up next, so we'll hop over to Team Preview and see what we've got. It's another Rayquaza. Okay, it's like Rayquaza, like flavor of the week this week. Um, I don't know if we're ever going to face anything but Rayquaza. I hope we do tomorrow. Let's pray and hope. Anyway, we've got Jackson. He's playing a team of Incineroar, Tapu Fini, Rayquaza, Crobat, Stack Attacker, and the Xerneas. So again, our Trick Room mod probably our best one to go for here. I'm going to lead with him on top. Dawn Wings, Necrozma. We've got to worry about that Crobat for sure. Um, I'm going to go Lorantis, and I'm going to bring Wigglytuff exactly the same four again. It's going to be difficult because there's the inclusion of the Xerneas here, and we know how hard we struggle against Xerneas without any real checks against Geomancy, which is a bit of an oversight, but just one of those things. But uh, Jackson's ready, we're ready. Let's get into this one here today. And I feel like we can maybe do something. I don't know. It depends. <laughs> it depends. If we can get a Trick Room up, and we can nuke the Xerneas with our Xenoof, maybe that's a way for us to beat Xerneas. And then the rest just takes care of itself. Crawbat Xerneas. Okay. Uh, it's a bit like the last game where it's like the Rayquaza and the Crawbat. Where we're like, uh, could we could we go for Trick Room here, or do we just go for the Photon Geyser into the Crobat? Uh, Crobat's definitely gonna be sashed, isn't it? Um, I've got to fake out the Xerneas, and it's just it's it's whether or not I go for the Trick Room here or not. Uh, I feel like Trick Room here could be good, but I also feel like my opponent's paying attention. They probably think we are going for a Trick Room. But they might think we're Ultra Necrozma as well. So they might go for Tailwind. I'm going to go for the Trick Room again. Let's see. Xenia's protecting. Are we going to see Tailwind? Come on. There's a fake out. Blocked. No! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no, Jackson. Jackson, you're too smart. You're too smart for this game. Uh, I mean, one of the things we could potentially do is go for a Helping Hand. Uh, Z move into the Xerneas. It's going to get the Geomancy off, but this Z move, helping hand, should still do a good chunk of damage. So there's the helping hand. Uh, let's see what we can do. A super fang into top. It means as well we can get top out to get top back in again with this uh, eject button. So it's nice in, in many ways. We'll get Wigglytuff in. It might it might prove quite useful. 
against a boosted Xerneas. I don't know what the cards are like against it. There's the Geomancy. Absorbing the power and proccing a power herb. If it didn't have the power herb, could you imagine? Ah, but it does. That would have been the best, because the, then, then we get it. But I'm still feeling kind of confident that this Z move is still going to do a crazy amount of damage. Helping hand boosted. Let's see. If it takes a class. It would be. It would be. It'd be amazing. It really would. But problem is we can't protect as well with Dawnwing. So man. Look at that damage! That is ridiculous! That is ridiculous! <laughs> oh, I can't believe that! Uh, we'll go for a dozen game. We've got the Fairy Aura boost. Um, and we'll try for the Photon Geyser, I guess. Um, do we go for it into the Crobat, though? Or do we go for it into the Xerneas? Because I think Wigglytuff definitely survives. I'm going to go for the Photon Geyser into the Crobat. Because then we can potentially... Yeah, we should take this Moonblast. Should. Oh, and he, oh no, he's got cross poison, but we should take this. We should be able to clear the field. Come on, two HP. <laughs> the hype is real. Okay, we get the Crobat. Come on, we need this Dazzle to do enough. Oh, Wigglytuff, don't let us down at this point, please. Yes, <laughs> the tough <laughs> is enough. Here we go, here we go, friends. Okay, so we're we're getting rid of, of Xerneas there. Uh, our taunt wears off, which is good. Uh, we've got two Pokemon to deal with, and now we know one of them is going to be the Rayquaza. Potentially the other one is... is oh, it's Tapu Fini. I was going to say it in Cineral. Tapu Fini's maybe a little bit better to deal with than... Uh, Harder than the Incineroar, to be honest, because we could potentially get a Trick Room up. It's going to be difficult to get Trick Room up, though. Um, it's really going to be difficult to get a Trick Room up. Wigglytuff hasn't had any boosts yet, so... I think what we'll try and do is switch Wigglytuff out into top. And we will go for a Protect with Necrozma. Uh, it's just tricky because I think like even an icy wind at this this point takes Anacrosma down and the likelihood is the Finny could have Scald, so that's another thing. Uh, it's going to be really difficult to close this one out. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. We'll see, we'll see. You know, the, like anything can happen from here. We can play it a little bit smarter than what we maybe maybe being able to do just normally I don't know I don't know what I'm saying I just want us to win this match after that getting rid of those two Pokemon so Rayquaza intimidated gets a Delta stream up after Mega Evolve and will protect with Necrozma um, crunch okay indicating that it maybe is a salt vest nature's madness top of voids okay so let's try fake out Rayquaza um, and go Trick Room. Indicating that the Finny's got Nature's Madness, its other move is going to be Icy Wind, which it has to go for now, I think. Because Nature's Madness won't get its Heal Pulse. Okay, we get our Trick Room up then. That's pretty... That makes things so much easier for us. Um... And if that is a soft vest rare, we can get Lorantis and knock it off. Doesn't deem it. Um, okay, okay. Uh, can, do we just do we just nuke into the Rayquaza then? I think we do. Uh, Moonghost Beam, Helping Hand into that slot. Because I think it's a soft vest for sure. Uh, the Finny probably just heal pulses it though. Which is the problem. But we... I really need Wigglytuff and Lorantis on the field now. That does nice damage. Okay, Nature's Madness. Fine with that. Him on top still sticking around. There's the Crunch. It will take us down. Um, but I wonder what a Helping Hand Dazzling Gleam will do to the Ray from our Wigglytuff. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Uh, but we need to get Lorantis onto the field because we need to help in Hand Leaf Blade the Finny. I think that's the most important thing now. To get rid of the Finny because the Finny is the one thing that can can help heal a little Rayquaza over there. 
So we'll go for that. We'll go Helping Hand, Leaf Blade. That should be enough to get the Finny. Even without the boosts, we should be getting it. There's Extreme Speed. Going to be into top. So Laurent is actually... Oh, wow. It's not even enough to get the top. That is enough. That is enough. All we need now is a knockoff. Maybe even a close combat from this range. We'll get it. So, uh, a f super flying weak Pokemon. I'm doing a number on, on this Rayquaza. The ultimate flying Pokemon. Come on. let's. I'd love to be able to. Like the knockoff, we'll get rid of the Assault Vest. We'll probably see an extreme speed, but we just see the forfeit. We get a victory! So, we've got double victory. We haven't had one of these days for ages, my friends. It is pleasure to grab and tie up the score going into tomorrow's episode so that is great and um, two wins today obviously had two losses yesterday so it marries up perfectly making it a great end to the show today which is brilliant and takes us with all the momentum going into tomorrow's episode now we did say at the start of the episode we have those four bonus buttons that we can activate we'll see how the episode goes today before we make any decisions going into tomorrow's episode before we change things up but let me know in the comment section this is important you guys let me know what you would like to see maybe one two or three or four buttons activated uh, tomorrow that would be great let me know in the comment section and we'll make some decisions when we come back tomorrow but have a great incredible fantastic rest of your day my friends and i'll see you all for the next episode tomorrow so until then take care and bye bye